Welcome to Area DMG. Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Phil Bussy, the Mile High Mouth, and today we're going to be unboxing Cooking Mama Cookstar. It's the thing that you saw in the credits, or rather, not credits, the thumbnail of the thing. Hit like, share, subscribe, etc., and all that stuff. Anyways, Cooking Mama Cookstar is a little bit infamous, infamous because of um, its kind of um, whoo, overly dramatic release. But that's not really what we're going to be completely talking about here because I want to talk a little bit about this and then because really this isn't enough to uh, really go into for a video, an entire 10 minute video or so I'm going to talk about something else. What is it? Well, you'll find out. It's also a thing that I was kind of excited for. Um, I was wandering around and I um, wandered into a Target and I found this. There were like one or two copies left. Well, two, yeah. Two copies left, and I grabbed one, so now there's one copy left. And yeah, <laughs> I was kind of shocked because I'd been trying to find this one because of all the drama around it. Anywho, Cooking Mama Cooking Cookstar, if you don't know, is um, part of the Cooking Mama series um, by, I guess Office Create owns the license for that, and Cooking Mama LLC or something. Anyways, um, here's the basic basic idea. Once upon a time, Office Create put out a concept, and then this company called Planet Entertainment LLC said, hey, we'll publish this, we'll get this developed, and we'll publish it. And so they got um, First Playable Productions to create it, and First Playable Productions is made up of people from Vicarious Visions and other stuff. They made it, and then Planet published it, but... Office Create didn't sign off on the final product. There was a bunch of disputes. So now there's possibly a legal battle and all sorts of stuff. That's why this was pulled from the eShop almost immediately after it was released. It was really difficult to find it, etc., etc. And that's why um, if you don't pick it up at Target somehow for 30 bucks, it'll set you back anywhere from 50 to there's a copy of this new and in, in packaging going for $4,000 on eBay. <sighs> Anywho, this is Cooking Mama Cookstar. I like the Cooking Mama series back from the days of DS. Essentially little mini games where you cook stuff. Over 80 amazing recipes. And um, it's got realistic and fun motion controls, an all-new vegetarian mode, and a two-player potluck party mode. Eh. It's got mixed reviews. Um, if you're a fan of the Cooking Mama series, this is fun. Um, there was a bunch of weird stuff where people were like, This has blockchains in it, and it will overheat. Your switch will catch on fire. But none of that's true. Um, yeah, none of that's true. Anywho, there's a big dispute, and we'll see where that goes. But that doesn't really matter anymore, because one, the game is really hard to find. And I've got a copy of it. I'm going to open it up. Yay, let's get into Cooking Mama Cookstar. Okay. Oh wow, that's uh huh. That's sorely disappointing. Here's what the um actual game looks like. And mmm, it tastes like bitter regret. Nah, I'm sure it's a fun game, and I'll probably put some footage up. We'll play it. But yeah, so that's Cooking Mama Cookstar. And, oh boy, that's what's in that. And that's a little story behind it. But that's not really what I want to talk about here. I was looking at stuff because I went to Target for a specific reason, and it was to look for supplies and stuff. But I saw this, and I want to talk about this. This is Infinity Train Book 1, and oh my gosh, I have not seen this series. There's two seasons and then like a little spin-off thing called the Train Documentaries, which is included in here. So we'll get Book 1, Book 2, and apparently there's a Book 3 coming to HBO Max alongside that, that Adventure Time Further Lands thing, and I'm like, oh no, with that and all the Studio Ghibli stuff, or Ghibli, however you pronounce it, stuff coming to HBO Max, I'm looking at that, I'm like, well, I guess I gotta get HBO Max, because I want that new Adventure Time, and I loved the, tra the, the thing for this, uh, 
This is a mini-series, or rather, it was a limited series. Book 1 and Book 2 have similar settings, but they have complete stories of their own. It's a mini-series from Cartoon Network, similar to other stuff like The Immaculate Over the Garden Wall, which doesn't have a Blu-ray release. Why Cartoon Network? Cartoon Network, I need a Blu-ray release of Over the Garden Wall, I need a Blu-ray release of Primal, and I need a Blu-ray release of All of Infinity Train, or at least Book 1 and Book 2. Plus the extras. Whew! Now there's a commentary. Whoo! Anywho, um, how to get on this? Okay, Infinity Train is like a concept of different things. The main character, Tulip, is a um, trapped on this train with an infinite amount of worlds between these. Each car is essentially a different reality or universe. So it's all sorts of mixtures of stuff. A little bit of Snowpiercer here and there. A little bit of a Philip K. Dick. A little bit of horror. A little bit of um, Doctor Who. Things like that. And um, so in um, from the what I know about the TV series, they changed her personality just a little. She's still logical, but she's really kind of um, an amateur programmer, and um, it kind of fits it like little one one. That's the name of this little robot here. It's got two personalities. Um, one one has one personality that's kind of like Wheatley, and one that's kind of like a sad Alan Rickman from uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to Galaxy. The little Corgi um, Atticus is voiced by Ernie Hudson. You know from Ghostbusters. This. Um, the main character is voiced by, um, oh, what else did she do? Oh, she's best known for um, being Ellie in The Last of Us. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and at one point, Janeway from, uh, um, you know, the, the lady who's Janeway from uh, um, Star Trek Voyager is in the series. Not a spoiler. Some uh, a character, some other character, but yeah, stuff. Anywho, um, it's got this nice lenticular cover. I really like it. Shiny. I just drop it. Anyways, it's got all ten episodes of the first um, book, which is a complete and utter story by itself. And, um, by the way, if you can find it, pick up Over the Garden Wall. This is amazing. Yeah. You can also buy this on YouTube, apparently. YouTube, Amazon, a bunch of stuff. It's going to be on HBO Plus, or Max, or whatever they want to call it. And I am cool with that. Anywho... I love animation, and I kind of want to get back to doing reviews of episode-by-episode episode stuff. Maybe we'll figure out, like, we can do a mix between animation content here and there, like, mm, one or two episodes each week, but they're mixed in with the video game stuff. We'll see. We'll see. Let's see what's in here. Ooh. So, we have... Eh. Not much there, and then this... This is book one. That is very bare bones um, packaging. I'm a little sad that it's so bare bones, but eh, over the garden wall was kind of bare bones too. I mean, look at this. For what this series is, huh? Um, whew. yeah. For what this series is, um, they're different series. I mean, over the wall, garden wall is perfect. I'm sorry, Over the Garden Wall is perfect. Um, Infinity Train, ooh, it's good too. <laughs> Cooking Mama Cook Star, oh, I know this game isn't really that good. From like stuff, like people who are not fans of Cooking Mama aren't going to like it. If you're a fan of Cooking Mama, you're going to be like, yeah, this is okay, but it really could have used a little bit more time in the oven. There's some stuff in there and all that, you know, so I feel looking back at it, um, the company that owns the copyright that's suing the other company, um, yeah, I kind of want to side with them on this. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying out some Cooking Mama Cookstar, and I'm looking forward to um, binge watching all of Book One of Infinity Train, and you should go and check out Over the Garden Wall. But yeah, um, huh, this video didn't have too too much to do with Cooking Mama Cookstar because. There was other stuff I was way excited about and just kind of snuck it in there. Kind of Trojan horsed it in there. And now you have to put up with it. Boo ha ha ha! Anywho, uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. Hit that thumbs up, that share button, that subscribe button. Um, how much cooking mama do you want? I don't know. There's like 80 recipes. Maybe I'll do a couple recipes, show you how it works out. Goodness knows we'll have a gaming paraphilia for it in the future. 
Oh boy, that was a weird one to find though. I was just like looking around because everywhere else, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I walk in. Wait, that's a copy of that. Oh my gosh, I need that. So I went and got the person and I was like, yeah, this. And they're like, why would you run that? I'm like, well, I love the DS games. And there was a 3DS game and there's a game on the phone. And hey, there's a version of, there's a sealed copy of this online right now for four grand. Ugh. This is ten dollars. This was ten dollars. Buy these. Support them. Tell Cartoon Network loudly, mind you, that you'd like some Blu-rays of these. And Blu-rays of Adventure Time in the United States past that one season. Because, like, they, they stop that and they're like, Oh, we're just not going to release the last couple seasons on Blu-ray. They did the same thing with Regular Show. Which, by the way, people connected to Regular Show are behind this. But people connected to specifically some of the final seasons of Regular Show. And if you finish off Regular Show, you know that it's like, this is a weird little stoner comedy almost thing, right? And then you get to the end and you're like, oh, why does my heart hurt? And it's good. And same thing happens in like Infinity Train and Over the Garden Wall. So, uh, I guess spoilers. <laughs> um, stuff. Uh, there's a lot of drama out around Cooking Mama, which Cooking Mama totally doesn't deserve that kind of drama. This is... <sighs> it looks like it's going to be a fun game, and I like that series. I also like these ones, so check these out. But yeah, Cooking Mama Cooking Cookstar. If you can find it, maybe pick it up. It's going to be one of those where it's got actual scarcity, actual rarity, unlike, say, Limited Run or... Uh, some other game companies where they're like, we're just going to produce a certain amount of this and number them because, well, this. And um, this is one of those where it's legitimately has some issues that make it rare. Kind of like um, Cubic Ninja on the 3DS, where that had some interesting issues that made it rare. And then eventually Steel Diver became rare. I have a couple copies of that. And I have done horrible things to those for other videos. You're welcome. Oh boy. Apparently that's a rare one now. I don't know how that happened. Kind of like how uh, that Lego um, brick Lego City or whatever for the Nintendo Switch went from being like ten dollars new at a GameStop to being somewhat hard to find and expensive again. Weird, weird how that happens with prices. Anyways, if you see it, mm, if you're a fan of Cooking Mama, maybe pick it up. We'll play through it a little bit later this week. So you can see what it looks like. I got a bunch of stuff planned. Anywho, let me know in the comments below what you think. Hit that thumbs up, that share button, the subscribe button. Ring that little bell so you're notified whenever we have a brand new video here on Area DMG. And until next video comes out, you are now caught up. Morning, Maya.